The dream of passing down the family farm to the next generation is one many Texas farmers and ranchers share. When the time comes, they just want to be able to leave their life's work in good hands. For now they can, but soon that could change. About 75 miles north of Houston in Livingston, Texas, Patricia Snook knows the burden that estate taxes bring. In 1998, my dad passed away and we had to pay an awful amount of inheritance tax in order to keep the farm. And it was something that had been instilled in me my whole life that you pass it down as much as you can to your family. Her grandfather purchased the property in 1917 and later passed the land to her father and uncle. She is the fourth generation landowner and her family has paid estate taxes with each passing generation. With the tragic death of her husband Jay last year, the family is now preparing for another round of payments. When my dad passed away, we had to pay an inheritance tax when my uncle passed away, and we know that's, that's coming. Now her son-in-law Mac Ross and daughter Wendy manage the cow-calf and timber operation with the help of their two children Cody and Taylor. Like any parent, they want to leave what they are building to their kids, but the ever-changing tax laws have them concerned they may have to sell property or cattle to pay for the large tax sums. It has a lot of history, and I just want to keep it. I want to pass it down to my kids and generation to generation. Both kids help on the ranch and want to be involved in a bigger way in the future. We've been able to support it for almost 100 years. It's a lot better than sitting at a desk at a, or in an office cubicle. It's really fun. But the estate tax could make it hard for the youngsters to live their dream of returning to the farm. With rising input costs and increasing capital demands, Cody and his sister and cousins may never get the chance to continue their ancestors' way of life. Under current law, there is a $5 million individual exemption at a 35% tax rate. But those breaks are set to expire at the end of the year. It will then revert to a $1 million exemption at a 55% rate. That's troubling to this ranch family, who says lawmakers just don't realize what it takes to keep a ranch going. The million dollars, it adds up quickly. You know, when you own your own land and these cattle, like the cattle prices now are up there. You know, I, I bought some heifers the other day for $1,500 a piece. You know, that, that adds up pretty quick. And then you got a tractor sitting there, it's $80,000. And land is now running probably, you, you buy a big tract of land, you're gonna pay 2,000, maybe 3,000 an acre for that. So that, little, that number is small. Selling land could be profitable in the short term, the Ross family knows it will probably not be used to grow food again. Once it's gone, it's gone. And for them and other farmers and ranchers, it's not an option they want to consider. You don't want to sell your property. You don't want to sell your land. Um, and, and when you're looking at a big farm and ranch operation, that's what you have. They're, it's not liquid assets that people think that you have. And so when you start having to sell to pay for these, this death tax, then you're actually selling the property that you've inherited over many years. Legislation is in the works now to repeal the death tax as it's been dubbed. U.S. Representative Kevin Brady from Texas has sponsored H.R. 1259 calling for total repeal. But Brady says it's still an uphill battle to get a vote on the floor before the end of the year. The estate tax weighs heavy on the Ross family as they look to the future. Still grieving over a sudden loss, they know changes have to be made to tax laws so this land can be preserved for generations to come. Yeah, I wish he was here to help us. Yeah, that's, that's nothing we can get back. but. Keeping this land is something we can do, and we got to be able to change that. Where does it stop? I mean, at what point do you have to go, hey, you know, that's enough. For TFB News, Ed Wolf, Livingston.